So we've all seen those photographs on the internet of snakes swallowing large things. From possums and monitor lizards to wallabies, crocodiles, dogs, antelope, and possibly even humans. But have you ever stopped to wonder, how could a snake swallow something larger than its head? Clearly it must have something to do with the snake's skull. And you'll often hear that snakes unhinge or dislocate their jaws. But is that really the case? Let's find out. The record breakers for swallowing large prey are almost always pythons, so I'm going to use the python skull for reference in this video. Now I'm going to start off by saying right away that snakes do not unhinge or dislocate their jaws, because that would look like this, and that just doesn't happen. But to really understand what makes a snake skull so special, let's have a look at the skull of something that isn't a snake, like this dog. Dogs, like most mammals, have a solidly built skull, with all the bones fused together, and really only one set of moving parts, the jaw joints. Settle down, Rex. Snake skulls, on the other hand, are more lightly and loosely built, with many moving parts. There are the jaw joints, of course, which are positioned really far back to make the mouth larger, and which are at the end of a pair of long, movable skull bones. The jaw bones themselves are flexible, and can bend slightly outwards in the middle, and they're not fused at the chin either, so they can be spread apart. But it doesn't stop there, for the upper jaws can also move independently of the rest of the skull. All this flexibility allows the snake to open its mouth incredibly widely to fit over large prey items, but it also allows the snake to do something else. In order to swallow large things, being able to open the jaws wide enough is only half the battle, for the snake still has to get the food down its throat without the use of arms or hands. And to do that, it moves its jaws independently, grabbing and holding the prey with its backward pointing teeth and pretty much walking it into its throat one grab at a time. But wait, there's more. It may take a snake a very long time to swallow particularly large animals, so you might be wondering how it continues to breathe with its mouth and throat blocked by the food item. And to explain this, we'll have to go back to my whiteboard and draw another python at a different angle, and then get it to open its mouth. Unlike us mammals, the snake's windpipe, or trachea, opens on the floor of its mouth rather than the back of the throat. The opening is called a glottis. When a snake swallows a large prey item, it can extend its glottis out the side of its mouth like a snorkel, so that it can continue to breathe while swallowing. How cool is that? <laughs> 